he's prepared to deal with you in love to get the best out of you. And I, I think that's where people, it's where people go wrong. They think people, and God is thinking, what about me? <laughs> what about me? And we keep thinking people. And God is over here going, hey, I'm here. Why are you looking at them? What about me? Try me. Intimately relate with me. And I will get you where you need to go. I'll get you to, to, to become the person that I need for you to be. Not everybody, not the masses, not all the people. I'll get you to become the person that I need for you to be. Whatever you got, I can work with it. I can work with it. I'm God. Do you know what that means? Do you know how, do you know how all encompassing that is? I'm God. I'm the one that caused you to be able to be here in the first place. All I need you to do is give yourself back to me and I can work with it. I can work with it. I can I can perform miracles through you. I just need I just need you. I just need you to come to me. I just need you to trust me. I just need you to give yourself to me just like you are. I'm not asking you to to do anything else. I'm not asking you to do anything else with yourself. I'm going to help you do everything with yourself that needs to be done. All I'm asking you to do is give me you. Trust me with yourself. And then turn yourself toward me. Listen to me. Learn from me. I got it from there. So now it's up to me and you. What we gonna do? Sit like a bump on a log? Or deliver good news? Jesus saves and heals the sick and sets the captives free. If you believe, he'll even get you out of poverty. God loves you so much that he sent his only son to die. Hello, everybody. Uh, first of all, I want to say uh, Merry Christmas. Today is, is today the 20th? Where's something with the date on it? I can't see the date on my phone. But yeah, I think today, I think today is the 20th. So of December, 2022, we're almost to, um, we're almost to Christmas. And um, so yeah, let me tell you, Merry Christmas. Uh, I am getting ready. I'm going to try to stop saying, um, and you know, <laughs> because I have been recording and so many of my videos never see the light of day on this channel because I look back at them and I'm like, oh, all this, um, and you know, I just, I do not like those filler words especially when I'm playing the video back, it sounds, or it is comfortable for me while I'm talking, but then when I play back and I start trying to edit and take some stuff out that's not necessary, it's just like, oh, you know what? Let me just trash this whole video because it's full of these filler words. So I'm gonna do my best to stop doing that. Okay, so I wanted to drop in and say Merry Christmas. I have a video that I do believe I'm going to uh, put up along with this one. And that's just talking a little bit more about LaShawn, the lady that I did the a recent video on that did the Atlanta Street interview and you know we talked about there we go you know and we talked about her story and I tried to let you all know what she said her story was her um, what she said her experience was after being on the show after doing the interview and this is my large shoulder strap fanny pack 
and I put it on before I walked out of the house so it's still just across me like this but she gave her account of what happened and I was attempting to get some support for her just a second here so I believe I'm gonna put that video the sun I need some shades it's bright out here today I believe I'm gonna put that video up along with this one what was I gonna say about that video but it's it it's more so talking about some of the different types of comments that I received after posting her video uh, or the video that was meant for to support her and just giving you all a little bit more of background and context for that video so today yeah I just wanted to drop in and say Merry Christmas I know some of you may view this video after Christmas and so in that case good day <laughs> I hope you're having a, a great day let's see what else is going on need to think about paying paying when I get up here so one thing that I wanted to start mentioning more I want to start mentioning more is that I wrote a a book of prayers and I promoted it a little bit when I first you know when it first was published it's on Amazon it's called prayer of agreement by Kelly Don Miller and I believe it's 1888 on Amazon unless they have placed it on sale I think they do place your items on sale periodically however that works hold on let me pay for my coffee and oatmeal yes yeah, so I have that book on Amazon if you like to pray if you like to pray for other people and even if you just like to be prepared to pray for other people as things come up with people uh, people have different you know life events and you have people in your family you have friends and <clears throat> I, I wrote the book well actually for a lot of different reasons but one thing that helped me I'm gonna say it helped prompt me to write that book is that I was getting a lot of prayer requests do uh, during especially during that um, especially during the pandemic so a cousin of mine who loves to you know we love to get together to pray we believe in prayer of agreement like really <clears throat> really really strong we've seen that We've seen that so many times when we pray for anything together, we get what we what we're praying for, we you know claim what it is, we ask God to give it to us, we let him know that we're believing and trusting in him to give us what we're asking for. So my cousin a lot of times she will she will call me and she will ask me to pray to pray for people and it's just something that she's like called on me to do for a long time now and I don't really even know where it started but She calls on me to pray and I pray. Sometimes we'll pray together depending upon what's going on. 
and then we usually always get favor with our in our prayers with our praying together so during another like a like a coaching like a coaching group I got the idea from the leader from the person that was doing the coaching group to write a book and so I said okay I'm gonna challenge myself to write a book of prayers and my cousin <clears throat> she encouraged me to write don't try to make it too long and don't try to over don't overthink it because that's that's me I'm, I'm an overthinker and i'll overthink something in a minute and never get finished because i keep wanting to think more add more doctor more that's the reason why i have so many videos that haven't been put out <laughs> overthinking so Sprinkle this in a little bit. So anyway, I wrote the book. I have the book of prayers. And I'm letting you know that it is on Amazon. You can pick it up. And it is a book of prayers for... Written specifically for you and others. So what I mean by that is... <clears throat> there's not many prayers there's seven I believe but they're all like over arching type of um, prayers life prayers I would say and they're not too specific because I wanted them to be kind of like something that you can pray for yourself or someone else in a holistic kind of way. Now I can break that down and I can, you know, we could pray for a specific job. Uh, you could pray, you could pray all sorts of specifics, but I didn't really want to do that with this, with this first book. So, it is how it is for a reason. And then as far as the intercessory part, you can pray that this prayer specifically for you, each prayer, or you can pray it for a boy, a man or a boy. You can also pray it for a woman or a girl because I have the wording broken out to where <clears throat> if you are needing to pray for a woman, then you, I have the blanks, I have uh, blanks so that you can put the person's name in. And the wording is specifically for her, hers, she. <clears throat> and so forth. So that's the the feet the woman's prayer or the girl and then i also have that same prayer with wording for a man him his he so it's uh it's worded so that you can fill in the blank with the name of any male and you can pray that prayer for whoever you need to pray it for. And then if it's for yourself, obviously it's me, mine, I, and so forth. And so that's the, um, that's the prayer book. So that's how I did that. Um, other than let you know that I have the book and it's out there for sale on Amazon. 
Oh, also what you can do with those prayers is send them to send them to, the, to people. So let's say for example, you are someone is in the hospital. And you want to let your family know, hey, let's pray. We all need to pray for this person. Um, you want to alert friends. Maybe you might even want to post it up on, on your Facebook. Your Facebook has real friends and family on your Facebook. I do not suggest getting on your social media platforms that have random people on there letting people know what's wrong because everybody is not everybody is not uh, everybody does not want the best for you everybody is not in agreement with you for your good and so I would only say post the prayer like Fill in the blank with the per with the name of the person. You can even even do that by um, you can take a picture of it and you can put <clears throat> you can put text in on the on the blank line, which is what I do. I just take a picture and then I I edit of the prayer and then I edit the photo to put text on it. If you want to, you can write in your. <clears throat> if you want to, you can get get the book. You can write the name in the book in pencil and then you can just erase the name after you have said the prayer, taken a picture, sent it to everybody that you want to send it to. But the idea is that you send it to people who are really going to earnestly pray the prayer number one and then who really want the same thing that you want for the person number two because this is a prayer of agreement hence the name so you do not want people that are going to be talking against the very thing that you are desperately seeking from God it's, it's, it's not good um, even Jesus told people to get out of a room where he was about to pray for a girl, I think it was. And what he did was he put everybody out of the room and he may have done that. I'm not sure why he did it. I would have to go back and read if it says, if he said why he did it. But one reason he may have done that, I think this was the account where the little girl was dead. They were saying that she was dead. And I think he said, no, she's asleep. And they laughed at him. I believe it was. Mm. Lord, forgive me if I'm telling y'all wrong. <laughs> I mean, well, <laughs> I might be saying it wrong, though. But I believe that this was the account where the little girl was already dead. I think somebody went to get him so he could pray for her. Um, so he could do whatever he could do. Raise her from the dead. And he put people out of the room. And I believe he did it. Because when you need faith to get a miracle, it's going to be best achieved in an environment with faith and, and nothing but faith if you can get it so that that disbelief it is very it's very um, contagious you know and like especially when somebody has died and, and like the despair and you know the crying and the loss of hope got to get those people out of there you know and then yeah, in the in the in the case of just you know putting up a prayer on social media you know people people can be extremely negative people 
could not care. Somebody might even really actually be hoping that you don't make it. Or whoever doesn't make it. So. Or they don't get what they need. Excuse me. Or they don't get what they need. It might not be in, uh, in uh, a case of life or death. It might just be somebody that really doesn't want for you to have what you seek. They are served better and, and benefited more and they like it better when you don't have what you need. So you really only want people praying for you <clears throat> that want the best for you. That want to see you overcome. That want to see you living your best, doing your best, healed, financially prosperous, mentally well, um, not harassed by the devil. You know, you want people that, that want that for you. And you don't know. Especially the, uh, the large amount of people that you may or may not even talk to on a regular basis. You don't know what they want for you. You don't know what their true uh, heart's desire is for you. That's only going to be a, a very intimate group of people. That's who I would suggest you send the prayer to. A very intimate group or even one person but somebody that you know you want the best for them and they want the best for you and they are actually praying the same you're actually in agreement and if that's a lot of people for you then that's amazing and I'm, I'm so happy that you have a, a large group people around you that love you and that want the best for you that's awesome um, but yeah that's what you want to do with these prayers the other thing that I wanted to say children, people who have 
taken the salvation that he has provided through Jesus Christ. And, you know, I'm sorry, you know. <laughs> and I believe he wants the best for us. I believe he loves us in totality. And I believe he he is prepared and capable of taking you however you are, however you come. He wants you. Because whatever he needs from you, Whatever he needs from you, you already have it. You already have it. Um, and he's prepared to deal with you in love, to get the best out of you. He's prepared to deal with you in love to get the best out of you. And I, I think that's where people it's where people go wrong. They think people and God is thinking, what about me? <laughs> what about me? And we keep thinking people. And God is over here going, hey, I'm here. Why are you looking at them? What about me? Try me. Intimately relate with me. And I will get you where you need to go. I'll get you to, to, to become the person that I need for you to be. Not everybody, not the masses, not all the people. I'll get you to become the person that I need for you to be. Whatever you got, I can work with it. I can work with it. I'm God. Do you know what that means? Do you know how Do you know how all encompassing that is? I'm God. I'm the one that caused you to be able to be here in the first place. All I need you to do is give yourself back to me and I can work with it. I can work with it. I can I can perform miracles through you. I just need I just need you. I just need you to come to me. I just need you to trust me. I just need you to give yourself to me just like you are. I'm not asking you to to do anything else. I'm not asking you to do anything else with yourself. I'm going to help you do everything with yourself that needs to be done. All I'm asking you to do is give me you. Trust me with yourself and then turn yourself toward me, listen to me, learn from me. I got it from there. And that's what that's what people don't don't know about God. He's not he's not looking for you to do things that he hasn't given you the tools to do anything with yet. Of course, he might seem like a hard taskmaster um, when you're standing afar off from him and just looking at his looking at his goodness and his requirements and everything because you don't have him. Okay? So how are you going to how are you going to do anything when you don't have him? You don't have his spirit. You don't have his uh, capability. You don't have his word yet. You don't have, you don't have the power. You don't have the power. But once you get with him, he'll give you power. And then he'll give you his word. And then he'll start to develop you. Then you have something to do with this. It's not going to be like an instant download into you. It's not going to be an instant download into you of everything that he ever said 
and you're just going to magically know. No. You're going to need to read the Bible. You're going to need to listen to uh, wise teachers. <clears throat> you're going to need to fill yourself up with him. You're going to need to reprogram yourself. You have something to do with that. But once you accept him, then it's easier for you because he'll give you his spirit. And his spirit will literally come to the inside of you. And that will cause you to have a desire for him that you didn't have before. That will cause you to want things that you know that you can get from him that you didn't know how to otherwise get before. Things will seem possible through him that otherwise you thought it's not possible or you were going to have to try to figure out how to get it on your own because his spirit is going to let you know so many things that are possible with God and and then just miraculous things will just start happening inside of you um, that will lead you you know there, there's going to be a leading there's going to be a, a, a hunger for him and and the things of him you're gonna you're gonna start and you will start to actually know things that you know you didn't know before like i have i have woken up in the morning with answers <clears throat> excuse me to problems that i did not have the night before and i went to sleep i didn't worry all through the night long and try to you know brainstorm and come up with answers all night no i just went to sleep um not knowing what I was going to do about a certain thing and woke up with the whole plan in my head. I have I have also prayed and asked God to reveal reveal things to me and woken up with the answer. Before I ever knew how to do any of that, like he will give you things. He will reveal things to you. But you also have to seek. <clears throat> you also have to seek after him and the things of God. But once you have his spirit, it's so much. It's, it's, it's less of an effort. Because there's something now inside of you that wants him. Whereas with the person in and of yourself, you're not looking for that. You're not looking for goodness and godliness. You might be looking for something just to be good to you, pleasures, but you're not looking for to be good, to be the do-gooder. <laughs> you're not looking for that. You're not looking to serve. You're looking for somebody and something to serve you. So, uh, with that being said, I want to let you know. That I would love to pray for you. I would love to pray with you. I would love to uh, listen to your listen to your issues and and get into agreement with you for God to bring you the answers to your issues and so if you need someone to hear you out if you need someone to pray with you earnestly for you if you feel like you don't know anybody who really wants the best for you and if you just believe 
that I'm the one that I'm the one that can help you get your breakthrough please leave me a comment and let me know and then uh, you can reach out to me specifically you can reach out to me through uh, instant message how can you get a hold of me you can reach out to me through instant message on my Instagram which is don.of.kelly on Instagram d-a-w-n dot o-f dot k-e-l-l-y on Instagram and then I have another Instagram which is Kelly Don Miller k-e-l-l-y that's my author Instagram k-e-l-l-y d-a-w-n m-i-l-l-e-r <clears throat> that one is of course also on Instagram so you can leave me an instant message on Instagram and let me know how to get in contact with you and let's talk and see what's going on what you are, you know, what you're standing in need of prayer about, and we can pray together. I can also formulate a written prayer for you, and we can just we can just go from there. I'm not charging for this. Um, if you feel led to want to give me um, like an offering of your you know love and appreciation because you respect my my office of ministry and you um you know you want to give back in some way then i i can accept a donation but i'm not charging for prayers and that's also not a pre prerequisite <laughs> that you it's not a trade-off you have to give me a donation in order for me to pray for you I just, you know how they say, like, when you find the thing that you'll do for free, then that's the thing that you should be doing. And, um, like, praying for people is something that I I do for free, you know. I just, I believe God, you know, I believe in God, like, very, 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 very strongly. <clears throat> I feel like it's nothing that he won't do for us because I know that he loves us, you know, and then being a mother, if that has anything, you know, I don't, I don't think that has everything to do with why I feel this way, but I do believe that it helps when I look at how much I love my children <clears throat> and how much I'm willing to do for them to help them to oh, that nice looking neighborhood to help ensure that they <clears throat> grow and, and go on you know in life and you know just and just not even just do for them but just how much I love them you know and, and how much I just want good like the super best for them like I just, I just want them to be okay. I want them to be better than okay. I want them to be good and great. And I want them to have great experiences. And I want them to just have a great life. And I want them to grow. I want them to develop. I want them to, you know, go through what it takes to get where they need to be. Not that I just want everything to be easy for them, but I, I don't want them to be harmed in any way. You know, I don't, I don't want harm to come to them. Uh, the type of strength training, you know, that you have to endure to go to the next levels and whatever. Yes, of course, but, but not harm, uh, not danger, not lack, not being held back. You know, I, I don't want anything like that for them. And if I am just, uh, my feel 
feelings, <laughs> you know, just a, like a whisper or something of how God is and how he thinks about us and how he, you know, the love that he has toward us. Like my love, it can't even compare my love for my own children. It can't even compare to the love that God has for me. So when I talk about, when I talk about praying for somebody, I'm fully connected to how much, you know, to how much God wants for you, whatever it is that you want for you that's good, that is uplifting, that is the best case scenario, I'm fully connected to how much he also wants that for you. Because I cannot, it's not possible for me to love my children more than he loves us. And I know if I want so much goodness for my children, you know, that's only a drop in the bucket as far as how much goodness he wants for, for us. And so I'm, I am ah, just fully believing, just fully attached to my prayers that he wants this he wants these great things for us more than we do but this is our part this is our part that we have to do prayer is our part to do he's not going to do the praying you know he's giving you a brain he's made sure people taught you how to talk and uh, how to think, how to write, how to spell, how to know a language. He's not going to do the part that he has given us to do. So prayer is our part. Prayer is, is just our part of the formula. You know what I mean? And believing is also our part of the formula. You can't be, you can't doubt this. You know, you got to know this. You got to you know, you got to get fully connected in on how, how good God is. Woo! I mean, oh man, it makes me want to get out the car and start running down the street. <laughs> you got to get fully connected in on how good God is and how much goodness he wants for you to have. And once you're really fully connected in on those couple of things and you know, okay, this is my part to do. This is my part to do. You know, if you're a great runner, a great runner, you fast, you can beat everybody, but showing up to the race is your part to do. Okay, you gotta show up to the race. You gotta put that suit on. You gotta let them put the number on your back. You gotta warm up. <clears throat> You got to you got to show up. That's your part to do, right? It doesn't matter how fast you are, it doesn't matter how much you know that you're the best. What matters is that you know all that and you show up to the race ready to run with your shoes on, with the best preparation that you could have possibly given yourself, your body, your all the all things. I've never uh, been a racer, but I'm just using this example. I don't know why, but you're going to show up to that race fully prepared and you're going to run. You're going to run your race, right? That's your part to do. So I look at prayer like that. Like, this is my part to do, okay? I'm not going to make the miracles happen. <laughs> I can't put all the pieces together. I don't know how this is going to get done. But what I do know is that God loves me, number one, and that God wants this goodness for me more than I can even want this goodness for me, right? Or whoever it is that I'm praying for. <clears throat> and this is my part. All I got to do is this part. This is my part. And when I do my part, I already know he's going to do his part. It might not show up today. It might not show up tomorrow. But I know that he's working all things together for my good, in my favor. He's going to get this done. He's going to put it all together. And when you and while you're in that waiting season in that in that holding pattern 
of a time while you're in there, what you're going to do is keep thanking him. You're going to keep thanking him that he is bringing it to pass. You're going to keep thanking him and you're not going to doubt and you're not going to say, maybe he don't want me to have it. Or maybe, you know, he didn't hear me. Or maybe, you know, God is just like everybody else. He really doesn't love me. He really doesn't know. No, 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 no. Because if you are a mother or if you know a mother or if you are anybody that has ever loved anybody or anybody has ever loved you, then think about that love. And then times and times an infinite number. And that's how much God loves you and wants goodness for your life. And that, that is what is going to draw the thing that you need and the thing that you want and the thing that you would love to have happen. That's what's going to draw it to you. That's your part. It's not that he doesn't want you to have it. It's not that you can't have it. It's not that everybody else gets it, but not you. What it is, is that you got to do your part. You got to do your part. You got a part to play in this. Your part is faith and believing in him and, and knowing and putting, putting that all in with your prayers. Putting that all in with your prayers and letting it fly. <laughs> Let that prayer fly. And you're going to get, you're going to receive, you're going to be amazed. And honestly, I would just like to be your partner, your partner in that. Okay. All right. So. I just want to tell you all Merry Christmas again. I'm at the mall. Um, I love you. God loves you. And just try to meditate on that today. Just try to think of the most love that you have ever seen of, of, of anybody, in any type of love that you've ever witnessed, received, or, or even just witnessed or given. And if you could times that, times some number that we can't even, even if you times it times a million, it wouldn't be enough. It wouldn't be enough to say how much God loves you, okay? And, and if you love, if you love, then part of that love is what? is wanting goodness you want goodness for the person you don't want badness you don't want to see bad things happen to you when somebody has loved you they've done all sorts of neat wonderful things for you right that's love that's love and if you could just blow that up then you will be able to see just a smidgen of how much God loves you. Just a little, tiny little smidgen of how much God loves you. And then realize that all you have to do is do your part and ask and believe and know that and keep knowing that until you see the, the, the object of, of the way that you picture this blessing coming in for you. You're going to have it. You're gonna have it and you're gonna be so happy when you realize that that's that's really all it took so hey I didn't really mean for this to be an hour uh, what I might try to do is chop this up and um, I'm here at this mall, so let me get on in here and see what I can get. All right, guys. Bye. Have a great day.
he's omnipotent. King of kings, God Almighty, he's magnificent. You said he's good all the time, I said yes he is. Loving father, loving always, loving all his kids. Paid us a visit for a minute. He 